you are amazing, you are worth it, you are strong, you can do this. Guess what? Even just saying those words, I'm like, bring it on, let's go, right? It, it feels really good. So then the next time something comes up and it says, you know, eat the cookie or not, you know, or whatever it is, fill in the blank, whatever food is, is tempting for you, right? You can say, you know what? No, it's not worth it. I can do this, I'm empowered, I make great choices. I'm getting back on track now. I am amazing, I am calm, I am resilient, I am healthy, I am wise, I am well, right? So when I'm saying these things, it's much easier for me to then make the loving choice for my body. Now, when I say, I'm so stupid, how could I do this? How like dare you, you're wasting your time and money and this is so dumb and you should just quit and blah, 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 blah. When somebody hands me a cookie, guess what I'm gonna do? <sighs> pop it right in my mouth, <laughs> right? Because the emotions that are, are, are elicited by different thoughts create motion, right? So I like to say that it was emotions create motion, right? Meaning emotions lead to certain action steps. So if I'm feeling ashamed, guilty, sh you know, just horrible about myself, calling myself names, all of this kind of stuff, the action steps that that, that leads to are very incredibly different than when we're saying, I love you, you're amazing, you can do this, I know you can, you make great decisions, you know, it's okay, we get back up again, it's all right, I'm human, right? So when, this is the thing is that you're not, you're not, there's nothing wrong with you, you're just a human being, okay? This is the thing is that this human existence is not linear, meaning it's not like perfect, 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 perfect. It's more like this. We have ebbs and flows. We have good days, we have bad days. We have easy days, we have hard days. We have great eating days. We have maybe slip ups, right? And this is okay. What we have to do is because we know this, and I think most of us on this call have lived enough life at this point to know that this is how life is, is that we can expect these dips, these dips in motivation, these dips in inspiration, these dips in willpower. However, because we can expect them, that means that we can also also create some awesome ways to support ourselves. One of the things that I would highly recommend that you do if you guys haven't done it yet is go to that Know Your Why call, which is on Tuesday mornings at 10 a.m. EST. And that actually is kind of creating that little blueprint or roadmap that you will use when the going gets tough, when the going gets rough, when you have those dips in motivation, inspiration, when you're maybe going through some detox symptoms, you know, when the emotions run high, all of that kind of stuff, because guess what? It's gonna happen to all of us, myself included, myself included. And so we have to have ways and little tricks up our sleeve to support ourselves when this happens, right? And so what I would highly recommend that you do is to remind yourself, okay, mistakes are happen. Perfection doesn't exist either, you guys. So we are not robots. Uh, you know, we're not like this computer that all of us are on right now or the phone or the tablet that we're all on right now. We don't have an algorithm going on in our head that goes tick, 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 tick. no. We're ba we're we're a, we're like um this chemical cocktail of events going on all the time. And when different hormones get, get released or this gets released, guess what? It affects sometimes your judgment or your choices, right? We're not gonna judge the hormone levels. We're not gonna judge any of the stuff, but what we can do is just use our brain, right? Our mind as a tool for self-love as, as well, which is we wanna make sure that we're, we're using our thoughts in our favor rather than to our detriment. Now, the other thing that we know to be true is that optimists have much more healing than pessimists. So optimists actually um, across the board have a lot better of all kinds of things, not just not just health. Um, you know, they have less aches and pains. They have better uh, biomarkers such as uh, 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 blood pressure and cholesterol levels. They also have m more money in the bank, generally speaking. They also have better relationships and friendships. They have better love relationships, all of this kind of stuff, right? So what would the optimistic version of you think? What would the optimistic version of you do? 